chances are if you are here on my channel right now, it's because your MacBook Pro suddenly stopped working and you got the dreaded flashing folder with the question mark inside. I'm going to share a little bit of my story with you and I'm here to let you guys know you can be reassured. It's not going to be a huge issue for you to fix. Everything's going to be okay. So let's go ahead. I just want to flip over my computer. I've already taken the back cover off and I just want to show you guys what you're going to need to fix this problem. So if you guys have never seen the inside of your MacBook Pro and this is the 13 inch mid 2012 version. This is my first Mac ever. Let me just go back a little bit so you guys can see. This is what the inside of it looks like. Here is the back cover. There are many screws that you have to unscrew. This is your hard drive right here. Now I've already removed the little area here that holds the hard drive down. Let me just show you guys the piece that you're going to need to remedy your problem. Do you guys see this little cable here? This is your hard drive cable and chances are this is the only thing that you're going to need to get repaired. The only thing that you're going to need to have swapped out. So here's my story. I had the flashing question mark. I was in the middle of editing some YouTube videos that I was about to publish and I got the flashing folder with the question mark like I could not work whatsoever. So I called Apple the next day. They had me hold down my power button and command R at the same time. So that's power holding command and holding the R key. And then we went through, it went through a series of getting to disk utilities. It kind of went through its little thing. We got to disk utilities and we went down to the very bottom option. We looked in the left hand column. There was no hard drive present. So the tech suggested that I order a new hard drive. I ordered a new hard drive. I ordered this thing called an enclosure for my current hard drive, which allows you to put your hard drive into kind of a external hard drive casing and then hook it up via USB in hopes of recovering what might have been lost because we were thinking it was a hard drive failure. And then I also bought an external hard drive. So I bought all three items and within a couple days they arrived. I called them again. We installed the new hard drive. And guess what you guys? We did the same thing. Hit the power button. Hit command R that new hard drive wasn't showing up either. So he gave me a couple names of a couple places and I went to this place and the guy said, guess what? This cable is a known issue. So he replaced it. He swapped out the cable. I was in and out in 15 minutes. Didn't cost me a penny. Everything has been working beautifully. Since then, I went ahead and upgraded my hard drive since I had another one because this one is a, this is a terabyte hard drive, which is double um, the hard drive space of what I had. Usually these 13 inch um, mid 2012 Macs come with a 500 gig hard drive. So now I feel like I'm gonna have a little more power in editing and using iMovie since that's such a slow program. But I just wanted to let you guys know, if this happens to you, don't worry. Get into an authorized place. They can fix this. It is under the warranty. This hard drive cable is covered under the MacBook Pro extension program. The MacBook Pro extension program, that's something that's for computers that are out of warranty with Apple, but this hard drive cable issue is a known issue. You go to your local computer resource center, computer shop, they won't charge you any labor, they won't charge you for the cable, and chances are you'll be in and out in 15 minutes. I just wanted to share my story. I hope I could at least help someone out there. Don't worry, don't panic, because I know I did, but looking back in retrospect, if I would have known then what I've known now, I definitely wouldn't have panicked. I got it fixed. I got it fixed fast and I got it fixed free and everything is still on my hard drive. I didn't lose anything. Well, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Bye.